Hello there, Intrex76 here, and welcome to Minecraft 101, lesson number one, introduction to Minecraft. What is Minecraft? Minecraft is a sandbox type game where you can build and create stuff and do some adventuring. Uh, this series, I'm going to be basically introducing Minecraft in the original format. I know there's tons of videos out there, um, however, it's hard to find some that are more specific to lesson building versus like let's plays and stuff like that that I can point out right to my friends um, for let's plays I have plenty of references that I can point to for them so that's not a problem uh, mainly I want to do this because I am going to also be doing <coughs> in um, Minecraft 202 uh, we'll be focusing on the uh, feed the beast launcher with the mod packs probably uh, the Dire Wolf 20 pack, or maybe the Feed the Beast pack, depending on which one is at which version when it comes out, or when I get to those. So, today uh, is the intro. Uh, a couple of points that we're going to be going over. We're going to be going over uh, the Minecraft, which I just did. Um, the how to how to interact with the environment by moving, uh, specific key bindings, and the day night cycles and a little bit of intro to the crafting depending on the time so let's get started um, hopefully you know how to launch the program and log in uh, I do not have a, a decent program where I can lace or integrate the videos from my desktop to the actual Java recording that I have here so uh, this is the main interface you've got the single player which you can create uh, new worlds or if you had worlds already you would be able to play them uh, rename them delete them and recreate. Hmm, I guess I'd never noticed that before. That's interesting. Must be you can recreate it. And then you have multiplayer. And I just got a Windows firewall pop up. Hopefully it's still recorded okay. Uh, currently there's no one else on my local area network running a Minecraft open world, so it doesn't see any. But you can do a direct connect to <coughs> IP address if you knew what it was. Um, you could add it so that you'd have a bookmark. Um, you can also hide it so that if, say, you were recording the multiplayer type videos and you didn't want people to actually see your address for uh, fear of um, denial of service attacks and stuff like that, you can do that. Um, you can edit them and delete them. Um, however, I am not going to focus on the multiplayer on this series. We'll be doing that on the... Uh, Probably in season two, possibly. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna handle that yet. So, but we're gonna get started with single player. Here I am, already three minutes into the video, and I haven't even gotten into the game yet. So we're gonna create a new world. And I am going to call this Minecraft 101. Yeah, we'll just call it that. I'm not sure how many lessons we're gonna have just yet. I've got to work that out yet. So, all right, game mode. Uh, you can switch different types of modes. So survival mode is uh, you search for resources, you do crafting, you gain levels, health, and hunger. Uh, hardcore is same as survival, only it's the hardest difficulty, and if you die, the map gets deleted. And that's that's for the hardcore. I've done a few of those. Um, it's kind of disappointing because I've died a lot in the beginning and it screws up. Creative mode means you have unlimited resources, you can fly around, and you can destroy blocks instantly. So it's very useful if you just want to make stuff without actually earning the materials and stuff like that. So, But we're going to do survival mode. Um, only because I want to be able to show you how to interact with stuff. I will probably be using... Um, what is that? Uh, oh yeah, more on here. I will be using cheats because... I am not doing a let's play, I'm actually doing lessons, so I want to be able to get the items ahead of time to do that. So uh, so here you can put in a seed, you can leave it blank and it'll randomly pick one based on the rotation of the moon and all that. I have no idea what they're using for the actual generator, but um, or you can type in stuff here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in Minecraft lesson, wait, 101 lessons. And I just ran out of space. Well, Pooh Bar. <laughs> oh, 
And why does that fit? Oh, well, that'll work. All right. Uh, generate structures. This is so that you would have villages and dungeons. You can turn them on and off, but normally you would want to have them on. Um, usually you would you turn them off if you want a plain world with no other NPC villages and stuff like that. Uh, the world type, usually the default would be that would generate the biomes and such. <coughs> oh, i got to add that to my list too. Um, but, or if you were doing a different type of map, let's say you wanted to do a super flat map. This is where, if you wanted to build custom structures, this, this is generally perfect for like creative type maps or doing some testing on and you don't want to be running around mountains and valleys and stuff like that. So, um, you can customize that. You can say, okay, the top block, how many layers of that, uh, you want one, uh, you can do how many layers of dirt you want underneath that top block. And then bedrock, how many layers of that you want. So there are presets. You can do this. Um, that's interesting. Cool. They've updated this more. Snowy Kingdom. There's these different presets you can do. It's redstone ready. So, all right. But we're just going to take the, oh, and there's also the large biomes, which uh, we'll get into a little bit more later on. <coughs> but we're going to go ahead and say default. Uh, bonus chest. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. You can say on or off. Basically, this spawns in a uh, chest randomly with some random items in it near where you spawn in so that you can get started maybe uh, quicker than without it. So we're done with all this. If we want to, we can go back to the screen, rename it or not, but we're done. So we're going to go ahead and say create new world. And hopefully this seed's not a bust. <laughs> I probably should have tested that first. So you're going to start off in the game and there is the achievements and help thing in the upper hand corner where right now it's telling me to press E to open my inventory. That is with the default uh, key bindings. I have not modified any of them on here so it should be okay. Um, you use your mouse to look around. I think you can use... I don't think you can use your keyboard to turn around. Not that I'm aware of. <coughs> But you, uh, by default, you use your space key to jump, and then you use your WASD keys to move. So W forward, A left, S is backwards, and then D is right. And this is water. Um, you can drown in it. If you look down there in the interface in the lower right-hand middle there, you'll see some bubbles that are disappearing. That is your air indicator, how much air you have left in your lungs. Uh, the little drumsticks there those are the amount of hunger and then of course the hearts is your health and below that you have uh, let's see nine boxes and you can see the first one's there the second one just highlighted the third four that is uh, your you're bound to your key so whatever you would have in there would be base so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine so forth and <coughs> in the box just above that um, right here, as you can see, that is the experience bar, which currently we have none. And as you just might have noticed, uh, I opened up my inventory with the E key, and I got the achievement, taking inventory. And this is your inventory UI. You also have a little crafting uh, area here with four boxes. Over here, you have your head uh, gear. This is for, like, armor and different materials. This is your chest, which is also your back, your upper part of your body. This is your lower part of your body, and this is your uh, footwear, of course. You have n a 9 by 3 so you have 23, 27 items here, plus the 9 here for a total of 20... No, 36? Yeah, 36 um, items, so... Yep. <laughs> Jeez, I'm not used to counting these ones up, so... All right, to get started, we're going to go ahead and um, to interact with items, you just left click to punch or do something, and right click uh, would be to interact with something. I'm right clicking on this grass block here. <coughs> I should take that back. Everything in Minecraft is based on a one by one by one meter block. So you can see this grass block here. You can see the black outline. That is the block there. It looks like it's slightly smaller than this one, but they occupy the same amount of area. So everything takes up a one-by-one one chunk, 
even this flower, even though the outline of that isn't, but you can't put anything else around this flower. So left click, picks it up, got the dirt here, and some items you can pick up with your hands, like the dirt, keep punching it, it'll break, and then you can pick up this block. Ta-da, open up my inventory, now you can see the seeds, the flower, and the sand went in. Anytime you pick up a new item, it'll go into the next available hot, hot, bar, hot key bar. And like that. So if I punch this dirt, and now the turf here is a little bit tougher. The grass on top here, like this, it breaks faster. And when you break turf, you don't get the turf in your inventory. You get just plain dirt. Now if I place this dirt down, you get dirt. It doesn't have grass on it. But however, if you place it next to another block that has grass on it, uh, and there's some daylight and some time passes, the grass will slowly expand over and take over that block. But, uh, okay, anyways, anyways, on going we go. So key bindings, um, let me just show you how you can check that. If you hit your escape key or your, if you have a mouse four button, you can hit that as well. So it brings up the game menu. Uh, you can go back to the game with that. You can check your achievements here, and you can see this one's highlighted or um, not flashing. So that means we've gotten that one. Taking inventory, we've gotten that one. The next one to get would be to get wood. We need to attack a tree until a block of wood pops out in order to get that. And then there's these other ones that tells you, oh, it requires that you get the next item before that. So, and no, there is no way to scroll that out. However, you can go into your option screen here and this is where you would adjust your music which I'm gonna go ahead and do now because when that starts playing at that volume it makes it really hard for Minecraft uh, YouTube volume levels to pick it up over me talking so touch screen mode oh that's something new I had not seen that um, difficulty that was one of the other things that you're gonna want to check especially if you switch between different worlds and you're playing at different levels normally you would have that normal that's okay um, these other settings, this is your forward of view, so you want to change that, which, hmm, that's kind of interesting. I've never played with that before. Huh. Wow. I might have to check that out later on. But I'm going to leave that normal for this thing. Uh, language, I'm going to keep on English, because I don't know any of these other ones, really. I do know a little bit of French, but not too well. All right, so first the video settings. Um, depending on what size you're playing at Minecraft at, you may need to change the GUI scale, which right now is at auto. I'm going to change it, and it's going to switch down to small, which is could be really hard for you to see. It's definitely going to be harder to see in the YouTube video here, so we're going to change it up to normal. That gets me a little bit more room in here. And depending on your computer performance, you may need to drop some of these down, like the render distance and the graphics fancy as well as the particles. Uh, that will really help with that. Uh, full screen, you can either click this, turn on, or use your F11 key like you would normally any other application to get the program to full screen. I find you, you do get better frames per second if you use the full screen. <coughs> Excuse me, but for recording, I'm gonna keep my game at 1280 by 720. It's the basic version of high definition. It's not the full high def, but it's close enough. All right. Uh, multiplayer settings. This is where you can change the chat, web links, and stuff like that. That's going to be in a different video. Snooper settings. This is just whether or not you want to allow Minecraft to collect data about your game and send it back. Um, I have on. So far, I have not found any information where it's, it's a... Uh, what's that called? privacy issue yeah and controls this is the other screen you want to look at by default your attack button is mouse button one uh, to use or interact with items is mouse button two walk forward back jump drop now drop is used to i'll show you that in a minute here best for dropping items out of your inventory or your active hotbar uh, chat you can chat if you're on a multiplayer server or if you have cheats enabled on single player uh the pick block that is mostly used for I believe creative mode and got your left right sneak you would use your shift left shift key to sneak around I'll show you that eventually use your inventory which we've been in 
slash you would use if you were in chat mode and tab with list players, which we are in single player, so it's not there. Oh, sl type in slash does bring that up automatically too. So, all right, so we're gonna interact with this chest here by right clicking on it, and I'm already at the 15 minute mark. Holy cow. All right, and in here, this is the bonus chest that spawned in. It spawned in pretty close to spawn, so we're gonna pick up these items. Now, to pick them up, you would just, you could left click, and it'll pick it up, and then put it somewhere in and drop it into your hotbar, or you can hold shift, left click, and it'll put it in there automatically. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a key binding to put all of the items into your chest automatically in standard Minecraft. Now, there's other mods where you can do, like, control shift, and it would put them all in there for you, but it doesn't, so I'm just going to do this. Or, I'm going to leave these items in here. I'm going to press the phone number four key to switch to the wood axe, and I am going to left click and hold the left click down until it breaks that chest. And if you look in your inventory, everything that was in the chest also popped into my inventory. So I'm going to take some of these torches here. Because torches is one other means to provide light when you're either underground or when it gets dark out. Now that brings up the next point is that in survival single player or survival multiplayer, SSP or SMP, you need to pay attention to where the sun is. Their sun... Day and night cycles, I believe they're in real time 10 minute intervals. So it can't be 10 minutes because it's been. Oh, that's right, I haven't been in the game the entire time. Um, as you can see, it's past noon, so I'm looking straight up and that's noon, so it's probably like, I don't know, 3, 2 or 3 p.m. afternoon time. But. Uh, and in Minecraft, the sun does follow the natural progression, so it's setting toward the east, so that means north is that way. And the sky goes from the east to west, the clouds, you can see they're slowly moving. But, um, since this is survival, I need to find a shelter or mega shelter before it gets night, because that is when creatures come out. And, as I was saying, the music can be a little loud for recording. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit more. And continue on. All right. So we have, uh, I'm going to bring up the next point. There is the different types of biomes. Um, if you really need to see which one you're in, you can hit your function three key to bring up a debug menu. Um, it's harder to see the biomes unless you're actually in that mode. Um, in mods, there are some mods that will show it to you like on a map and stuff. But if you look in the debug window, in the left-hand corner, there is the LC line that says 79. Uh, the B for biome is planes. So right now we're in a planes biome. And as you can see, there is some different trees up here that kind of looks like they're jungle trees. And if I go over here and hit the F3 key again, I will see that, yep, I am in the planes. And oh, wow, they changed the direction thing they added used to be so there used to be the f number would just be the number they made it so it actually says the direction now so that's kind of cool so here we have some trees and it's got some vine type stuff on it if you just left click and hold it down it'll break that leaf and if you also hold left click and hold it'll break the wood eventually and boom i got a piece of wood i got a piece of jungle wood now you can also if you have tools which i will show you how to craft shortly here you can use them to break that down faster. The axe type, the wooden axe, and then in its equivalent upgrades uh, work good on wood type structures faster. I'm going to get, oh, a handful here. Let's see if I can get this whole tree here. All right, I've got all the wood out of there and you can see there's some leaves up there. Now, you can either break these leaves manually with whatever tool and sometimes they will drop a sapling, like I just, that pop noise, I just picked up a, a jungle sapling. These leaves will decay naturally over time if there is no wood for it to be attached to. Uh, the vines will not, as soon as the original block they're on breaks, it breaks them all, so. Now, you might be wondering, okay, well, how do we place it down? <clears throat> like this dirt, if I put that dirt back in, I kind of forgot to explain that earlier. I select it. 
and you see how the black border there is highlighting that is what you are looking at so if I want to look over here and I right click once it'll place whatever block it is active in your hotbar so yeah active hotkey is currently number three so there's dirt's there now if I take this flower and right click it'll place the flower down I can pick it back up all day long this particular item does not have any type of durability so you don't have to worry about losing that uh, and speaking of durability as you can see my wooden axe now has this little green bar on it what that means is that it has taken some damage from being used and what that means is that after so many uses it will break now I'm gonna go ahead and move this torch back to there because I like to have certain things in a specific area so I'm not there this is a pickaxe this is, I have a ton of wooden axes, which I don't really need. Uh, this is uh, also an apple, so uh, you can use the apple and you can also do some other things with it. And as you can see, it's starting to get kind of dark out and the sun looks like it's starting to set there. So I need to worry about getting some shelter soonish. And what is that you hear? Oh, I see something in the trees here. And it looks like it's partially stuck. I will break it out. And there's a sheep. Now the sheep, you can't really do anything with directly. There are methods to obtain items from that, but that is for a later lesson. And let me review my lesson plan and make sure I've got everything covered for this episode that I wanted to cover. Interacting with the environment I've shown. Crafting I have not. Biomes I have talked about a little bit. There are... I want to say under 16 biomes on the default Minecraft setup, unmodded. And there is the pretty sunset coming up. Or passing by now because you can't even see the sun anymore. If I look, yep, there's the, there's the moon coming up. The moon does have different cycles. At least I believe it does in default Minecraft. I don't remember now. That's hard to remember. Uh, let's see the intro how to move key bindings day night so here it is now nighttime it's pretty dark out uh, pretty soon that will be completely gone and I should make sure that my video okay the brightness um, that is another key thing that you're gonna want to look at depending on your monitor brightness and if you're recording or not generally if you're recording and you're underground you're probably gonna have you have your brightness adjusted so you can have it brighter however I like to have it on moody when I'm playing normally I'm not recording and or recording underground so uh, I think the only thing left is crafting let's go ahead and do that to craft um, there are some things that you can craft in these little two by two crafting area however to do to make tools like these which I will show you in a second here and make a chest and stuff like that you need to create a larger crafting area to do that we're gonna need some wooden planks kind of like these and to do that you take um, any of the four types of trees there are jungle trees there's birch wood trees there's oak wood trees and then there is uh, spruce trees and I have some jungle trees here I'm gonna take one and one of these if I was to go ahead and interact with this it would give me four of those that shows you how many of those you would get now, if I didn't want to do that, I could just left click and drag that one back out. But I'm going to go ahead and put it back in. And you might wonder, how did I get one item in there without putting the whole stack? So, yeah, put the whole stack there. If you uh, just hold over it and then you right click, it will put one in there. Left click, put it back. Or if you hold shift right click, it'll split it in half. Control right click, right? Yeah, control right click. But we just want one in there because we are going to get four wooden jungle planks. And I'm going to take four of these and right click and once in each spot like that. And that gives me a crafting table. I'm going to left click this. Boom, I have another achievement get benchmarking. I'm going to put this in my second hot key bar. And then I'm going to go ahead and just place it down. Now since it's getting dark out, the sun's completely gone now. And the moon is up to, I don't know, about 10 o'clock position or something like that. I am going to place some torches here. Surprisingly, there's no mobs around me yet. Mobs are the uh, NPCs that you can interact with. There are bad mobs. As over there, you can see something hard to... 
Uh, I don't have a zoom function on this computer, and that dude just disappeared. Uh, there's one guy there moving around. I will show you that in a minute. First, I want to show you how to craft a sword to work with them with. So I've got a 3x3 three three crafting area now. You can make different recipes, and um, those are available on the Minecraft wiki. I will try to remember to put that in here. Now, the basic things, you have to start off with wood. So we used some wooden planks to get four wooden planks to make this crafting table, but now I need to make some tools, and to do that, you're going to need two planks of one of the four wood types. And so I've already got two oak planks. Uh, if I put one here, that'll give me a button, which isn't useful for anything right now. If I put two in here, that will give me four sticks. Now I'm going to left-click that out, and that'll take care of that. Now I'm also going to need some more planks, so I'm going to put two in here and left click once and see I get four and there's still four left in there. If I left click again, it'll pick up both stacks and now I have eight. Now I need to make me a sword, so if you, if you looked it up and there's somebody shooting at me, I better hurry up. I'm going to put that down, put a stick in here like that and there's a sword, left click that out, put that in my hotbar and activate that. And hurry up and kill this guy before he can now, if you left click with a sword, you can hit him. However, this is a wooden sword and it's not as tough. Or not as strong. Now as you see, I just got another achievement. I killed him a uh, skeleton. And he dropped some items. Now the green things that you heard, the little ding sound, was me getting experience. And as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a partial bars of experience from killing that skeleton. Actually, I might have gotten some from other things. There are other actions that nets you nets you uh, additional experience, but see, that looks like a little arrow and a little bone. So if I pick those up and take a look, yep, there's two arrows and a bone, which you can use for different things. If you had a bow, you could shoot those out. But as you can see, my little guy here, my, my paper doll, has some arrows stuck in me. Ouch. Got three arrows, two in one on my neck, one on my chest, and uh, one on my back. It looks like there. <laughs> also, another thing to show um, the function key if F1, like we said earlier. Oh, no, I did not. Uh, takes away your UI so you have a nice panoramic type view or some cinematic view. Uh, press F1 again to bring that back. Uh, F2 takes a screenshot, so if you saw something cool and you wanted to post it, that's the key you would use to take a screenshot. It also tells you the file name that it saved it as. Uh, the function 3 key is the debug, shows you the amount of memory you use in the upper right hand corner. Um, as this is a default allocation, I don't have much allocated. Left hand side shows you the Minecraft version, how many frames per second you're getting, how many chunks you're getting. Um, there's additional information you can find on the wiki for what the other numbers are for. Uh, the function 4 key, I don't think does anything. The function 5 changes your perspective. Right now we are in third person view uh, behind your character. <laughs> I pressed it again, it'll bring you to your front view. And there's Mr. Sheep. So you can kind of move around like that. And then press F5 once more to get you back to your default uh, first person view. Uh, the function 6 key... <laughs> don't think does anything near to function 7 that I can remember. Now F8 on the other hand changes <laughs> your speed at how fast your stuff moves. See how it's kind of nice and smooth which is great for like doing cinematic <laughs> recordings and stuff like that. That in combination with function 1 and then you move around kind of kind of nice <laughs> smooth animation there. Uh, F9 doesn't do anything either. F10 does do something. I can't remember. Hmm. Actually, that might have been a screenshot with my <laughs> recording program. Uh, F11, I don't want to press because I am recording. That brings up uh, full screen. And that green guy there is bad news. Uh, he is called a creeper. And if you let him get too close, you start to make that noise. And explode and destroy everything around him. He leaves a nice crater. Now, as you saw, I had to right-click with my sword. What that does is that blocks. Now, with a sword equipped and then you right-click and a creeper blows up, it'll or anything hits you melee-wise or explosion-wise, it'll block some of the damage. Now, if I didn't have that blocked and I let him do that, 
you probably would have killed me. Uh, I'm gonna hurry up and show you the next few guys here. This is a zombie, and he can hit you pretty good. Put no armor on. There's a lot of them. They drop different things as well, and I'm gonna go ahead and let them kill me. And boom, I died. Now when you die in survival mode, you get a score as to how well you did before you died. You can hit respawn or title spawn. Well, I'm gonna respawn because I wanna continue playing. Now, as you notice, hey, I'm not where I'm I died at. I'm back to where I respawned in at. If you do not have a item that will reset your spawn, which will be probably in lesson uh two for Minecraft 101. Um, you will always spawn back at the world spawn point, which is right here. So I think that'll be good for this first lesson. And you might be wondering uh, why that guy is on fire. That is because skeletons and zombies uh, do not interact with daylight very well. So that is why we don't normally see them during daylight. Now creepers, on the other hand, are immune to sunlight, but they don't spawn in sunlight. So if I was to look around, I would find any of them that were already here. They would still be there. So you have to watch out for them because they can sneak up on you and creep up on you and blow up and destroy your stuff. So this is Intex76 signing off for Lesson 1 for Minecraft 101. Stay tuned for Lesson 2 and thanks for watching and goodbye.